Clay McKinney, developer on ramp, introduction to HTML, the part about forms. Let's talk about input type equals date and a couple other things. First off, some housekeeping. In a previous lesson, when we talked about radio buttons, I did not close my labels. I opened new labels. So that was invalid HTML, and we hadn't checked it since then, so I didn't know yet. All right, so I'm going to save that. Now, about this input type equals date, it makes a little date picker. So it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. Let's see. I'll just change this checkbox. Let's see. Copy that. Paste it there. Uh, that wasn't quite right. Oh, well. Okay, and I'm going to say event date. And my name is going to be event date. And my type is going to be date. And we don't need this. Okay, let's, let's see what this does. I'm going to save it and uh, go over here to my form and refresh it. Okay, so it gave us this little date picker. I'm going to pick, let's see, June 19th, 2020. That'll be a good day. And we'll go. And let's see what it did up here. It says, okay, yeah. So it has these name value pairs and one of them is event date equals 2020-06-19. Very, very nice. All right, so that's how you do a date picker. Now, the date picker, it was added when HTML5 came out, so it's been a long time. Um, there are a, a couple of browsers that are still in use, I, I believe IE11, um, that don't use it yet they should have a, a fallback of just treating this input as if it were a text box um, because they don't know what input type equals date means so it would just be a, a text box and then people would have to type in the date correctly so the best thing to do is just um, hope that no one ever uses IE 11 again yeah, we're using Microsoft Edge here um, IE 11 Internet Explorer 11 was the last one that could work on Windows 7 so people on Windows 7, they can use Chrome, they can use Firefox, but uh, they can't get an up-to-date version of Internet Explorer. Um, so hopefully that won't be a problem for much longer. Um, also, there are a lot more input types that you can find out about by reading the documentation. There's, uh, there's, just, there's just so much in here that uh, you know we can't get to all of it. Um, inside of uh, the forms documentation and if you go inside of there if you go inside the input documentation um, you're going to find some more input types uh, one of them lets you update a file one of them uh, asks you to put in an email email address um, so and these are all very handy and it's uh, it's worth your while to go through here and um, read what they are and try them out and have fun. Um, they all work. Um, the, the code is, you know, the same. You change the, the uh, attribute of the, uh, you change the value of the type attribute for the input element, right? And, and that does any of these things. Um, so I want you to review all of that documentation, um, but we're done talking about forms. So for the HTML class as a whole, we'll just wrap up with a, uh, some way of doing a, um, a quick review. Um, and, uh, and then we will move on to the next course. It's, it's going to be fantastic. All right. Thank you, guys.